But I mean, so Maddie, someone says, sell them that uh, foot cream, please. Basically, whatever you use on my foot, uh, you should send it to them. Okay. <laughs> Girl, I don't really want to shake up Mother's Day like that. Let's do it. What race would you not date? Right now, I feel like black people. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. We get more love everywhere else than from our own people. I can't even date a black girl without with my nails, my hair, my feet. I need some red bottoms. I want some look. Some white girls just for the vibe. Spanish, Arabian. I date every woman. And they all just want to have fun and just enjoy our company. Right. Black woman? Yo, can you pay my bills? Can you pay my car note? Why you think that is though? And we, you know, as a people, we already down low, yeah. so it's like we coming from a poverty level. But still, we shouldn't come at each other like we getting over on each other. Right. We should be working together to get over on everybody else. Now, Mo, hmm? I'm listening. Okay, when I tip, but that's not all. That's not everybody though. The only thing I agreed with was the last part he said: is that we should not be getting over. On each other, that we should be working together to become. <laughs> These are black men talking Whatever about you know. black women. That's just, These are that's, black men. No, that's a black. That's These a are black, black men talking that's about black a, women. Oh, I went through the comments. That's a Media black man. That's oh, a black sorry. man talking about black women. That's a black man. Ow, I bitch. That's I, a black man talking about black women. I was in the comments, and there were so many black men. Congregating, mm -hmm. uh -huh. agreeing. I was in the. Co I sent Craig that. I sent it to you because every because we always get into this stuff. And I say, well, this how these niggas be. But I've never dis. That's the problem. I've never disagreed. I just say that is not all. There's a difference between saying that there are. Black okay, Mo, you not included. Just men. one of y'all. <laughs> one of y'all. Oh my goodness. My thing is this. I'm so tired. <laughs> I want to say this and then I'm going to let Craig go into his college educated go shit ahead. with that. Go ahead. We as trainees deal with this same type of shit with niggas too. Telling us that those Spanish hoes, the motherfucking eight Chinese Thailand bitches, all the hoes from other countries is better than us. We go through the we do the same thing. We hear the same thing. So, ladies, when we be when y'all hoes be over here talking about some the trainees don't know nothing and y'all real woman, y'all can have babies and all this stuff. We go through the same thing with niggas too. Them niggas be saying that shit right there out they mouth about the girls. The same fucking thing. And so I just be over there like, yeah, we can't date that one because you know they they too they too strong and they too this. But you want the girls to, to blow your bike out, your bike out. And then you be over there blowing up. This is no shade because I love my Thailand girls, my Vietnamese, all my, I love all my girls. But this is no shade. Them niggas be over there blowing y'all motherfucking heads up, telling y'all how much better than, than y'all is up, how much better y'all are than us. I know this factually. Y'all be over there blowing in the motherfucking foreign hoes head, telling them foreign ass motherfucking hoes how much better they are than us. The same way they do the cunts. The cunts, they do the cunts this way. They do the cunts the same way. How much more better you y'all are. I don't be with nail crook. Telling no white man or no Thailand man or whatever the fuck them nationalities people is outside of how much better they are than black men. As much as I take more, I, you know I wear a nigga out. Right. You know I raise a nigga down to the flow. But what do you hear me when you ask me, Madison, what you gonna date? A black man. What you hear me say? Oh, no, oh, you're asking me. I'm talking to you. Oh, I thought, uh, I, I thought it was rhetorical. When we having a conversation. Oh, oh. No, but I thought it was rhetorical. When, you, when, we, rhetorical. when you, when you, when I having a conversation, and what do you, do you hear me saying, man, I'm finna go get me a man. I'm finna be, because, man, these niggas, I will tell y'all how bad and, and low down, tore up and fucked up y'all is in a hobby, but guess what I'm going to tell you? I don't want to be, I ain't finna be going all out in this, in this space, because ain't no, ain't there one of them foreign bitches finna call me no motherfucking nigga. Not one. And that's just the way I feel. Not one of them finna sit up and I'm not finna give them the luxury. The one. The luxury, bitch. <laughs> While I'm sucking they dick to call me a motherfucking nigga. Hell no. 
and I just want to say Brooklyn, no, I don't think it's okay for for men to stereotype women at all either. I don't that's not even what I'm saying. I'm not saying that at all. I think I don't think you should be stereotyping people just I don't think you should be judging people on appearances just on appearances, period. To be honest with you. <laughs> I don't think you should judge people on appearances at all. I think you should judge people by what they do in the by what they do, by their actions. Hold on, somebody say he they, did hold on, hold on, because I see how you y'all trying to gather me. Of course he did he didn't have to say that they were better. Mm -hmm. it it's a, implied. He didn't have to say that they were better. No, I, I can't date no black women. He didn't have to say that they were better. Come on, don't be dense here. Don't don't do that. Don't be dense. Whoever said that in the comment, I caught that real quick. Don't be dense. Please don't. We know we know what's going on. You said let Craig speak. Okay, Craig speak because they don't want they, they want you to speak. Go ahead. <laughs> Okay, so two things can exist at the same time, right? But what I was going to say was, so I'm going to come back to that at the end of the point. I am so tired of black men telling black women of how they should be and how they need to self-correct, how they need to be better, how to make it more comfortable for them in a relationship and how they're doing this, that, and the third wrong or incorrectly, or this is why we don't want to be with y'all. This is Where is the work for black men? Where, where is the work? Because again, every time we talk about black men and what needs to, I don't even care if you're talking about black gay men. Whenever we're talking about the work that needs to be done by black men, the conversation always shifts. We never focus on the central issue because it always shifts. It becomes, oh, well, you know, you know, a white woman doesn't do this, this, oh, so a white woman doesn't hold you accountable. That's what you're saying. A black woman is going to hold you accountable. You're not going to be able to get over on her the way that you're able to get over on a white woman or, or, or a foreign woman or whatever you want to call it. But here's exotic. exotic. So it's like you don't really want accountability. You don't want anybody to call you to the carpet. But, you know, it has to be exhausting for black women to to be told in media Social media, magazines, television, songs, I don't, film. I don't want you. Yeah. I don't want you. And if you just did this, if you were more of this, if you were more like them. And at the top of this video, when I said, I want to say thank you to all of the mothers, let me extend that. Not even just to the mothers, to the black women, period. Women, period. But right now in this moment, we're talking about black women because that's what we was talking about. What I know to be true is black women when i think about my trajectory and my life and all every single person that's held me down has always been a black woman so like i've even dedicated one of my books to black women the black women in my life because there's a line there's a line of black women standing behind me who enjoy this success with me because if it wasn't for them feeding me giving me a place to stay for free not asking me for rent not pressuring me because they believed in what I was trying to do with my work. That's what I mean when I say black women always stand in the gap. I tweeted this today. Black women stand in the gap. When a black woman loves you, she's going to love you for life, sometimes to a fault. Yes, completely. Sometimes to a fault. But when a black woman loves you, she loves you for life. I don't care if it's, your, if it's her uncle, her brother, her sons, her father a man she's dating, when a black woman loves you, it's the closest thing to unconditional love that we will see on this plan, on this side of life. I believe that. I believe it's the closest we'll get to un unconditional. But what I will say is, I do think that there are instances where black women are exhausted. And sometimes you're going to get bit because she's tired. She's been done wrong by men in her family men that she's dated, men that she's worked with, and she's exhausted. She doesn't feel supported. And so when we talk about protecting black women, I say this countless, I've said this countless times here. For me, it's not just about protecting a black woman from, in a, from a physical perspective, protecting black women from the police, protecting black women from violence on the streets, but it's also about 
protecting her mental, her space, her mental capacity so that she's walking through life with the sound mind. You know, when I think about, and again, I'm gonna tie this back into Amanda Seals and my girl, uh, Yashara, she played on Blackish. I, I can't think of her last name right now. But when I think about Amanda Seals and that young lady, Yashara, and, and even like a Tamika Mallory, these women, women are doing critical work, critical work. And my prayer for them, and, and, I, and I say this honestly, my prayer for those women has been that they have an anchor in their life. If these are heterosexual women, I, my, pray, my prayer is that they have a partner that knows how to anchor them because they're doing critical work and they don't need the distraction of a nigga who got five babies mamas. They don't need the distraction of a nigga who's running game because he's a distraction. My hope is that these women have men or partners that are going to support them, that are going to buttress them and support them through those, those times when they're weary. And pour into. And pour into them. Pour into Pour into Correct. the girls, pour into their life, Correct. pour into, you know, you get tired of being the, be carrying and then you, and then, then they come in with all of this, with all of this extra, you know, baggage that, that bitches that sit around and be trying to sort it out with them. Correct. I'm going to go through this with you. Correct. Then once you done got healed from the trauma, it's just like, you know what? Right. And you, I got to get me somebody that's going, that's going to really love me and go right. Bro, Craig. I don't have no pussy, mm -hmm. okay? But all of this stuff, I, I resonate with all this. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? Yeah. And you have no idea. Mm -hmm. I don't live my life as a man. I don't. Mm -hmm. I, I might have been born male. I don't mm -hmm. live my life as a man. I've been. Right. I've been this since inception. Mm -hmm. And you have no idea, like no idea, the things. And then when I'm when I talk to more about this, and I'm talking about how and and, and we talk we talking to the women in the comment section, like the women are the women are speaking up and the women are saying this. And Mo, we love you, we yeah. do, to the floor. And I know you're an advocate for 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 good men. And, and, but, I know you're an advocate for okay, good men. I, can I talk after you finish? Though? Yes, you can. Okay, okay. I know that you're an advocate for good men, but but the things that we're saying are not. It's, it's, it's the majority of women are saying this stuff. Like this is the experience. This is a majority. It is. This is a majority experience. Like these niggas is doing. Then I sent more video with stuff like this with niggas. The way niggas be talking about right about women and the way they be they be on there with this shit and and, and what they type is. And then I seen videos where where, where, where men were making videos and they was they you know, back then when people were swiping and doing this with a head lift they swipe all against black women uh-huh and see kevin samuel had samuels had some of y'all fucked up god rest his soul but when i say some of that shit that he was spewing into the world had these niggas fucked up and not only did he have men fucked up he had a lot of women who didn't know who they were fucked up second guessing themselves trying to pander to that foolishness trying to chameleon trying to morph and become all of these things that they're telling you oh, you're not a chameleon okay okay because this is what this is the thing i want to say i i i'm not a i'm not going to say i'm an i am an i am an activist for men and you said good men okay i can say that but for men period no i'm an activist for i'm it's not even being an activist it's that I don't I'm not looking at gender because they are there are good men and same way that they're good women. There are terrible men the same way that they're terrible women. I'm not trying to say that all men are these innocent creatures that do nothing wrong. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that there are good men out there. And when you are putting into the atmosphere saying that all men are a certain type of way, you're not just discrediting those good men you also have to look at those young yo, those young boys that are hearing you say all of this when they're hearing you say oh shit all these niggas ain't shit shoot so that what does that make me girl he talking to you because i don't say that no i'm just i mean period it's not, he's, probably, he's, probably, he's probably talking to me no i'm not because i hear it all i hear it all the time they even perfect example i've heard people say that 
black men should all black men should be aborted. No, I ain't saying no, no shit like I, that. I know you didn't say that. I've heard it. Now who I've said heard, that? I've heard there, there's who this. Who said that? There's these. There's this. There's this. Uh, there's like this group. Uh, I think it was on Twitter. I I saw it on. It's, they put they put it on Instagram, but it came from Twitter that these black women were all around saying, "Yeah, black men should be aborted. We shouldn't. They should. We should. Once we find out that we're pregnant with black men, we should just get rid of them." I'm hearing stuff like that. I'm hearing things like um. When you're saying that all men aren't shit or all men cheat, I'm trying to. I want you guys to understand and think about it. If I'm saying all men, how do those men that that may be good, how are they going to take this? How are they going to feel about these things? They are gonna go get them a white woman. That's not true because I know a whole bunch of black men. I I know black men personally that said even though I've been through all the bullshit with black women, and you think black women haven't? He said I'm not going to any other race. I'm sticking with black women. You, and, and you know, you know how many black women who have that same story. My whole thing but here my, is, but my point is that it's not just. It's not, I my agree. Point is that it's just not black women I going agree. through all of these, all of these terrible things. It's I also agree. Black men. I've gone through some bullshit with black women, but doesn't mean that I'm going to say, "Oh, fuck all black women." I'm just going to, I'm just going to date Asian, white, or Hispanic women. No, because I know not all black women are like that. I just chose the wrong black woman. But I know that there are other great black women out there that will fit me and that will compliment me the way I want them to be complimented. And the fact that if you don't understand where I'm coming from and the only thing that you're thinking about is just your your own perspective. Yes, I got I have my own perspective, too, but I'm not going to let my own perspective just judge the whole bunch of people, because I can say that about perfect example. Let's not even let's forget black uh, women and men. I'm African. All the things that I've gone through growing up as an African in this country, not just by white people, but also by black people. Should I go around saying that all African-Americans that ain't shit, all of them are bullshit. I hate um, they're this, they're that. No, no, I fuck with y'all. Y'all African-American, but I don't look at y'all like the people that treated me like shit when I was a kid. That's my own thing. That's the only thing I'm just trying to say is that don't put that don't put a negative don't put a negative uh image on every single person you can say yes yeah, so there's some black men out here that are terrible human beings and i will agree with you 10 toes down my point is just that don't make it seem like it's just every single black man out here that's doing every single woman wrong or every single black woman wrong because that's not true yeah no i agree with you i don't think that again i think that's more for madison but it is, but but I do think I, that's that, what I'm receiving my dad because you don't see the whole but 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 but, 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 but I no, do. It's not for Madison. I'm just because no, it is because no, I don't no, say no. that honestly. I just know because I, it's not, I don't just hear from Madison. Right. I hear it. Is is it same way you hear black women this, black women that, that all over the media? I also hear the same thing about black men. And right. I'm not gonna, and I'm gonna be honest with you because I don't really talk about feelings when it comes to me. But it hurts whenever I hear black women constantly say. All black men are ain't shit. All black men do this. All black men are basically saying all black men are terrible human beings. And how, as a black heterosexual man, even though, yeah, it may not be referred to me, it still hurts. Okay, but here's the thing. What I'm saying is... Now, did you see how I just said lit and absorb that? Uh -huh. just... I'm, I'm, but, but, I'm see, but see, here's the but thing. But it's not for you, Maddie. It's oh, just it is. general. But, 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 the, but the thing, though, is, Mo, the black man that you're referring to seems to be the in the minority. That black man that you just described seems to be an anomaly. Because it, he seems to be the exception to the rule. Because, again, remember a few weeks ago, I put my hand up and I said, I, Craig, has been looking for a black man who has evolved, is evolved enough, mm -hmm. sees himself, sees me, sees the world, and knows what he wants from the world and wants to build. Now, at the top of this conversation, at the top of this live, I jokingly said, but in a very serious way, I jokingly said, you know, a lot of gay men, black gay men are upset with um, Little Nas X or they're upset with Gerard Carmichael because they're, well, Little Nas X was just in a video with the white boy. 
and, yeah. and the gays were all under the comments saying, oh, well, now he didn't made it. Now he with the white boys. They say the same thing about Gerard Carmichael. First of all, you all wouldn't be interested in Gerard Carmichael because he doesn't have swag. He ain't got no body. He, he ain't built. You know what I'm saying? He ain't got no style. He got some money, but he ain't got no style. Mm -hmm. And the truth is, we got to really start being honest with ourselves. Most of you that are tearing him up aren't even interested in partnership or building. And I jokingly said at the top of the live, most of you are worried about, oh, well, he ain't got no job, or he ain't got no, he ain't got no good credit score. Most of you aren't even, his credit score won't even come into play because you're not even consistent enough to get to the point in the relationship where a credit score even matters. But what I'm saying is the same plight that black women have with dating black men, black queer people have as well. Black trans women have that same problem. Black gay men, black, whatever, have that same problem. The common denominator is black men. And the problem is we don't center and focus the conversation on how black men can be better for themselves and then be better for the rest of us. Because then we always, we, will, we wanna make these excuses. Oh, well, systemic racism and all of that is true. Well, bitch, I navigated through it. And so many other black men, gay, queer, bi, straight, also navigated through it. I just think that we make so many excuses for black men and why they don't. And, and I, will, I will agree with you with this. The men, yes, they have, they, they have their issues. They, they, they are, they're black men out here that are, I, I, I will say it, terrible human beings. There are, they, they really are. Because I, I, I want everybody out here to actually actually listen to the words that are actually coming out my mouth instead of just talking about what they feel because I accept all of your all of your experiences. I accept that the men that you guys have been in relationships with, they weren't shit. I accept But that. I'm also, I also saying agree. But at the same time, they're also there are men out here. There are good men out here right. that have gone through a whole bunch of things. Correct, correct, correct. So I, it, it would be but better what, for us. But to, what I'm saying, and what most of these people in the comments are saying, and me, and you, mm -hmm. is that finding that man that you're describing is like finding a needle in a haystack. But also, I will also say this because even though I don't, yes, you got all you, everybody in here, I get it. Yes, I don't date men. You. You all, you all. But you it. have men friends. I have And you see friends. some of that fuck shit that and, they do. I, I do, but I don't. Do you call them to the carpet? I don't, I don't hang around those people. All, all my friends, maybe when I was younger. Yeah, I hung around because I was, I was, I was, I was young. I was, I saw how they were getting women. What we're saying like, is oh, per capita, but they ain't my, enough. But in my. Per but, capita. That's the all. Oh. But I also have to look at, look at it like this. The guys that would, there are some good guys that you guys don't even take, that you guys don't even consider. Why? Because they don't have, why? Because they don't fit the criteria that you guys. Well, want. no, see, that's what I was saying a moment ago about having standards and having a type. So when yes. you have a type, you can, you can, you can, you can lose people. And that's but what, what I'm I mean. saying, what I'm so saying not is. All the time that is just always men, men, men. Sometimes, sometimes as people, we choose the wrong person. For sure. And I will give you this. And I've said this before. I've tweeted it and I've written it somewhere in one of them books. We've all been someone's disappointment. I haven't always been evolved. And it doesn't mean that I'm saying that I've made it and I've arrived. Because I think that every day that you're breathing and you're living and you're walking on this earth, there's work to do. There's, ev there's more evolution. I totally agree. But what I'm saying is we've all been someone's disappointment before. But what I'm saying is it just doesn't feel... Even we, even if we were talking about black gay men, mm -hmm. if we were specifically talking about black gay men, whenever I speak the this kind of truth about black gay men, there there will be a few people in the comments will be like, oh yeah, I agree, da da da. But then you will always have the few in the comments saying, oh well, you're attracting that. <laughs> well, what did you do to bring? It's your energy. That's what you bring in. Um, it, it must have been something about, and I'm like, okay, so is that what's going on with everybody? Because like, at what point do we start holding these people accountable and saying, okay, there's some work that needs to be done. But the thing is that you see, I'm not disagreeing with you guys. No, no, no I get it. Yeah. The thing is that I really, I'm not disagreeing. I think there's a lot of work to, that needs to be done on both sides, to be honest with you. Sometimes not, people just don't want to self-correct. I think I'm, is what I'm saying. 
And you're right. But I believe what I believe instead of instead of because like I said, I'm not a I'm not a red pillar, if that's what you want to call it. I'm not a man that I'm not somebody that's trying to say, oh, I take up for men. No, I'm all about what what's right and what's wrong. I believe that as a community, as black people, instead of running to the Internet half of the majority of the time and talking about what each other are doing wrong, why can't we come together and discuss things and actually have a real well, 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 actually have a real well, what happens is when Nobody we try to have real that. conversations, Nobody black men that. shift. Oh, well, black women, when they start making okay. money and they got education, now all of a sudden you can't tell her nothing. She didn't, she the man in the okay, relationship. Great. She want to run everything. And da-da. that's not the case okay. with all black women. Are there black women who make the money? Yes. And then act like that? Yes. Absolutely. You're right. But that's not the majority. I have said this before. I've said it here. I've said it on my own live stream. I can think of five close black female friends that I have. They all make $100,000 mm-hmm. or more. Mm-hmm. They don't have children. They're educated, meaning they they are degreed. Mm -hmm. They own their own home. And there is not a man in sight. Because sometimes women like that are like kryptonite to men. Because men like that one in that video want to be able to say, oh, well, you know, I don't have these problems when it comes to to dating white women or Indian women or Hispanic women. The problem is sometimes these men are just intimidated by these women. It's not always that black women are like, oh, I make more money than you, nigga, and you can't do this for me. Now, are there black women out there that are like, oh, well, if that nigga can't pay for my rent or my mortgage or do... Yes, there are those two. Two things can exist. But what I'm saying is the majority of it is these men don't want to be challenged and they don't like it and they resent women, black women, for it. That's what I'm talking... I'm not saying that there aren't black men who... Are doing what they should do and da 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 da, and then we no, got to get into what until what you is lay a good down, man. Until you lay down and you fuck with a gang of niggas from all walks of life, you realize that a lot of them think the like. And lot. I can say the same thing about y'all until y'all lay down and really fuck with women the way that men really. Excuse fuck with me. You excuse can also, me. You, can't, you can also you can do that. Me. Let me go back here. Go ahead. I have fucked men from all different brackets, tax brackets. Mm-hmm. I have fucked with men from all different, even even outside of being a whore. Okay, even outside of the things, I've ran across very few, and it's not to, to, it's not about them dating outside the race. Mm-hmm. It's about the thing you have no idea the things that I have heard, Mo, none, to say it to me as female presenting. Mm-hmm. You have no idea the shit that has been said to fucking me. And I'm in, the, and I'm, and I'm be, I'm be in my flesh saying, God, ain't no way I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell a, I'm gonna say this to a black man mm-hmm. about, hey, there's just no way that I'm going to say this to a black man. I'm just not gonna say this. Yeah, you know, and make it seem as though that that I just can't do it. Yeah, I sit up here and tell how ah, motherfucking nigga ain't shit all day. But when the, when the time comes for me to be married and to have a family, I'm gonna do that with my with a motherfucking nigga. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna be caught on no videotape. Do, play that fucking videotape again. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna be, and you can catch, you can, you can, you can catch plenty videotapes of niggas doing not just this nigga, but niggas doing this shit. Right. Saying that black women aren't enough. There's something that black women need to do more, and then they will get the results that they want from us. And we hear, and guess what? We hear, and that's the thing. I just want you guys to also, because I accept it, and I know because I'm, I'm looking at it with you guys. So then, why are we beefing? No, because you. Okay, this is the this is the thing. I just said to you, I believe that there are there's a small minority. Yes, but of men who fit into that category that you're talking about. No, I'm, we're not beefing. I'm just trying because it's not. I'm not just talking to you. I'm not just talking to you and Maddie. I'm talking to also the people in the chat mm-hmm. because also the people in the chats are also giving also want to give me a hard time because of the perspective I bring. First of all, if you have a problem with me, with what I'm saying, you can tune off. Number one. Because I get paid to do what I'm doing. That's right. You don't pay me. That's so right, if y'all bro. want me to hush. I told you he was hot. the mic. No, nah, because I told you he was hot. Hot as fish grease. And I had to, I came in swinging. But I'm, no, about my but breathing. Maddie, I'm I'm look, I'm, I'm, no, glad, no, I'm, I'm glad, not hot. I'm not hot. I'm glad it's coming out. I'm today. not hot. Come on, I'm no, 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 no. I'm not hot. Come on. I'm passionate. 
There's a difference. Come on, let's come bring it There's out, a difference. Say. I'm passionate. That's, I'm not why, that's why I healed his tone. But no, I just want to. Well, let me ask you a question. Do you think I'm a good woman? And yeah. do you think I'm a good, Do you think if I had a real pussy that I would be a good a good real cunt? Well, I've never dated you. You don't have to date me. Well, no, I'm talking about. You don't have are to you date. talking? No, I'm talking about. And, and do you mean as a as just a person? To, no, no, my, no, because they're different. No, no, they, no, no, no. Should I tell you no, why? No, no. Should I tell you no, why? No. There's a there's a difference. Uh, between, no, there. no. Now you see that? Uh huh. Crap, now you see that? With, oh, wait. Would you would you let me last? Would you let me? Would you let me land? Would you let me land, Maddie? Great. Before I, because you're trying to inter, you're trying to you're trying to interpret it what I'm trying to say, and you don't. So just let me let me land. There's a difference. The way I treat the way I, I treat women are different. I treat different women depending on if we're friends or if I'm if we're in a relationship or if I'm just fucking you. Those are three different. Those are three different relationships. But what I'm saying, I'm he, saying he, that he, you're he, asking no. Because but here's listen, what I'm saying. Listen, here's what I'm you're saying. You're asking me, would you be a good woman? I'm asking, what do you in what in what relationship aspect are you asking me? That but here's what I'm saying. That's why I'm asking. I'm, that's I'm, why I'm, I'm asking I'm, here's what I'm gonna answer for you. Even if you just fucking her. Uh -huh. There's a level of respect that can come with just fucking her. Yeah. When we get into playing mind games with people and you treating people like they just don't matter, that's what I'm talking about. When you don't really take care of a person's mental, you can just be fucking somebody and not want to build anything with them. Right. But you can still have a level of self-respect. Of respect for them, yeah. And a lot of times these niggas just fucking people, women, and they don't really give a damn about how she feels. They don't really, you know what I'm saying? And, I, and, I, and it's, it's deeper than saying to her listen i'm not really trying to build anything i don't really want to be anything but my thing is when you know this woman had what i'm saying is i need to see more men have a have a level of respect and self-awareness about themselves that when they're with a woman and they can tell right off the bat that she doesn't have the capacity to be able to just be a fuck buddy I need him to be mature enough to say, you know what? I care about you too much as a black woman. I totally that agree. I'm not even gonna keep fucking you. I totally agree. I'm not even gonna keep fucking you. I you know totally what I mean? And just pull away. But I, when they get to playing all them games and shit, and you and you're not answering text messages when the fuck you know you see that text, or you're not calling. Here's the thing: I'm gonna say this, and I and this is, and then y'all can have it. I had a gathering at my house a couple of weeks ago, and a friend of mine invited a friend of his over. And this is a black gay guy. And they're both from Chicago. My friend invited his friend from Chicago. The guy that came to the house is living in Australia now. Mm -hmm. There isn't much of a black gay community in Australia. So naturally, he's now been living there for 10 years. After year one or two, he got into a relationship with the white guy. Because there's not really much of a black community over there. Black gay community. I said to him at my house, I said, so... What um what's the difference? Like how had you what was this what is this like? And he said there's still work in this relationship with this white guy. There's still work. He said but it doesn't feel like the kind of work that I had to do when I was with black men. And see, as black and as black and righteous as I am, I understood that. But that's the shit that black men, gay, straight, bi, whatever, don't always want to hear. Because we, we, we hear it, we interpret it as you're not good enough. But what we're really saying is I expect more from you. I want more from you. I deserve better. I want you to show up for me. But when he said to me, there's work, but it's just not as hard as the work that I had to do when I was dating black men. I understood it. And I'm not a person that's dated white men. Maybe I need to. And that's what I'm saying. Sometimes I'll be on that maybe fence I need to. teetering like, well, bitch, maybe I need to expand my maybe, horizon. Maybe I need to. And that's why I'm saying when you, you have people like Todrick and Billy Porter and Karamo and all these other black, Don Lemon, mm -hmm. it can't always be, it cannot always be that they've reached a certain amount, a level of success and they just don't want to fuck with y'all no more. Black men. Sometimes it's just that, bitch, I can't be bothered with this foolishness no more. They want to take you back down the road that you've already traveled. They want to take you back in the closet because they're not comfortable. Maybe I need, maybe I need it too. Because maybe I'm tired of having this debate. Maybe, maybe I, mean, I need to. Maybe I need to do it, but I done fucked around with a whole bunch of them motherfucking things. Everything, every I done had every race living sexually. Yes, yeah, sexually, I've had. I have I, sexually. I have had every race. 
Golden, I know it can be both. That's why I said, Sugar Plum, it's not always that these men just reach a certain height and they want to date white. I know that it can. I know that there's 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 there there are white black men who date white because they have identity issues. I know that. I know that there are white black men who date white NBA players or whatever simply because they now reach a certain success and they want a white person on their show on their arm. But what I'm saying is there are also instances where some of these black men are just ready to build and they're tired of the foolishness and the fuck games. Well, you have to be, you have to build at a certain age, Greg. Correct. And I don't think we think about building black queer people. But it has to be at a certain age. I don't think we start building until we're I, I, mid to, to late 40s. Like, yeah, it has to be at a certain age. Like, like right now, I'm in the age bracket of, you know, I'm in the age bracket. I'm in a financial bracket. Mm -hmm. But see, we think as black people, let me say this, black, straight, gay, whatever. I think sometimes we... Um, we think that we have to organize our lives first in order to get into a relationship. Oh, well, let me finish school first. Oh, I'm trying to build a business. Oh, I want to save a certain amount of money. W love doesn't wait for us to organize our life to show up. Sometimes love is going to show up, bitch, when your credit score is 400. Could be. So, Mo, back to this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go ahead. I wouldn't be a good woman. To, that's and that's why I asked you. you are see, you asking me to me, or are you talking about to a? Are you talking about to? Because I'm at, the reason I say that it, what, when you ask me, are you a good woman? I'm asking you like in what aspect are you asking me that? Because the, if you're asking me, you've seen wise, me date. I don't know. You've but, seen me date, but I don't know what goes on behind closed doors. You just tell me what you. You just tell me the what problems you've that experience. The you, problems that be going no, on. I, I didn't say. You said I tell you the problems that I be said, going on. I said your experiences. I don't. I didn't say your problem. I said well, your when I was dating, and you knew when I was dating. Yeah, well, but, I told you a lot of always, problems yes, that were going. But there are always two sides to. Uh, uh, there were no two sides. I mean, basically, it I don't no know two sides. What, I don't know how. I don't know how. If the, I'm telling you there's a problem going on, because I'm not going to tell you when there's not no problem going on, because there don't be no problem going yes, on. Yes, I'm saying when I say that there's. If I'm telling you that there's a problem going on, and I'm saying. I didn't really want to do the things that I did, but I had did the things that I did because I saw stuff that I saw and I was trying to figure out like, well, what the fuck is, what the problem is? Well, like, what's the problem? Yes, but what I'm saying, this is what I'm saying, Maddie. How you perceive your relationship, the other person might not see the, your, might not perceive the relationship the same way you perceive it. Got it, we got it. And that's why I'm saying, as a woman, as a friend, as we, as our relationship now, the person you are to me now, you are a you are that's great. the same way I am when, when I'm in a relationship with a person we just had we just in a sexual I, I, Maddie, have, I, I can only go by our relationship. I just, just have I'm the same way. Okay, if that's if that's it, I'm the same way. Okay, Maddie, I'm not even arguing with you. If that's it, then I'm the same then, way. We just intimate. Yeah. If that's it, we're just yeah. intimate. Okay, I'm the if, same way. Maddie, we're just if that's intimate. it, then okay. If that's it, then okay. I don't personally know how you are in a relationship. Why? Because I don't see your relationship. Unless you tell me about it, that's why I. That's why I brought that up. That's why I say that. As the person that I know you are right now, you are a great thing. You are a. That's great, all I needed to know. Thank yes, you because are that's great. exact. Because that's a, I'm the exact same person until you make me cross the line. Mm -hmm. And when you make me, what makes me cross the line is fuck nigga shit. Especially when I lay shit on the line, like, hey, you don't got a lot of kick. That's me. You don't have to lie to kick it. You don't have to lie to kick it. You don't have to lie to kick it. Okay. Oh, they're saying you pandering? Yeah, I want I want to pull up on to Kitty Street. Go ahead. Kitty, I'm not pandering to black women because <laughs> I'm saying what I think they want to hear. I'm a black gay man. And I'm saying that there are things within the black gay community that I take issue with. So if I'm going to pander to anybody, I, it would make more sense for me to pander to black gay men, right? Because I am a black gay man. What I just gave you was an example. I said to you, I have at least five female friends who are all educated, meaning they're, they, they're degreed. They make $100,000 or more. None of these women have children. All of these women own their own home. And none of them, not one of them, has a, has a prospect 
in sight. They're not dating. They're not in a relationship. It's been years since any of them that's that's been in a relationship and have been loved well. Five, including Madison. The real rich friend, Madison. You're welcome. Hey, no, and, <laughs> and please don't, and I'm sorry to cut you off, Craig, because I was looking at the comments. Don't go in here talking about uh, Mo don't see, see Maddie as a woman. Don't even try to start in sewing that type of thing. Nah, because he do. Like, because no shade, don't he do. Even, don't even try that. Now, honestly, let that me... Will piss, you see, shit like that <laughs> will piss me off. Now, no, but let me honestly that tell like y'all, don't really get mad, Mo, off. because they don't know how to, they don't know the level of our relationship. Honestly, Mo do. To be honest with you, mm -hmm. Mo do. Mo, I would honestly tell you, the men around me forget that I am a trainee until I start talking about the dirt, the dirt. Mm-hmm. They forget. Mm -hmm. That goes for Mo. That goes for G. That go like the men, mm -hmm. even the gay one. That's the reality. <laughs> to, to forget that I'm the trainee because one, we don't have. Can, can, okay, I, I, go ahead. Go ahead. We don't have. I don't. We don't have. I don't be. I'm not in the street being. I don't have clocky problems. So it's not like they we out together and they like that's dude, dude, dude. Mm -hmm. So we not having that, which mm -hmm. is which is you know, that's a privilege that I got. Right. Two. Yeah. I navigate through the world. I know y'all know what I am, and everybody knows what I am. You know, as the TS. Right. But when I'm navigating through the world, it's, right. it's real simple. But back to Kitty's point, there are women. Who are educated, make a lot of money, and they are nasty. I said two things can exist at once. Maybe you weren't listening. I'm sorry. Uh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean. No, 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 no. <laughs> I need the question answered. Mo answered his. I need you to answer yours. Ask it. Do I fall in that category? Which category? Re re repeat what you said. That there are women uh -huh. who make a lot of money and who are nasty. Yes. Do I fall in that category? At times. Can, wait a minute. To men? Well, remember a few weeks ago. Oh, God. You know, it, was, it was months ago. Bring me back. Okay. So remember months ago. Bring me back. You came on the line. I was sitting over. I had, it, was, it was mad in the morning. Hadn't, we hadn't gone into fag talk yet. And you said, this bitch can't wait to me, you was a nasty bitch. You were telling them what I had said to you. So yes, you know I know that you can be a nasty bitch. <laughs> you're not going to talk to me. Like, remember you said to them, I said to you, you're not going to fucking talk to me. Da, da, da. You can talk to these other people like that, but you're not going to talk. Mo, oh, uh, Mo, excuse me. I need 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> well, you asked I need, me. I need 30 seconds, please. I got 